Hello and welcome to part 5 of the high poly to low poly series, which is about baking normal maps for the low poly model with Blender cycles. In the last part we UV unwrapped the low poly model that you can see here on the right side. On the left side is the high poly version. I have the low poly selected, switch to object mode and create a new material called mat underscore pillar. After that I open a new window with the node editor to edit this material. Then I add a new image texture node and assign the image we created in the last tutorial for baking the normal map. Ok and now we will bake the details of the high poly model to the normal map for the low poly. First I move the high poly model to the center so that high poly and low poly have the same location. After that, the order is important, select the following objects. First the high poly model, then with shift key pressed also the low poly version and then be sure that the image texture node we want to bake to is selected in the node editor. Now you switch to the render tab and open the bake section. Here you set the bake type to normal, then enable selected to active and set the ray distance to 1. And that's it, now you press bake to bake the normal map to the selected image. And here we have it, now I insert a normal map node and connect this to the normal input of the diffuse shader and the image node to the normal map. The image texture has to be set to non-color data. Ok and then I hide the low poly model and switch the viewport shading to material and then you can see the normal map applied to the low poly version. And this looks nice, I think we did a good job in the previous steps. In the last part of the video I will enable some lights and a sky texture so that we get a first impression on how the model will come out in the end. Ok guys that's it for this part, don't forget to save the image for the normal map. And in the next part we will use texture painting to give this model a more stylized and painterly look and feel. Guys if you like this tutorial please like it and subscribe to my channel, the next part will follow soon. And perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon, creating these videos is really fun but also time consuming and your support would help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching this and I hope you come back soon to JNM.